did you and my father break up? So, I'm not going to obviously go into that right now. Um, however, <laughs> that was a really awkward one, Naya. Um, we just weren't we weren't right for each other. However, I don't really feel like it's affected me bringing you up. I mean, do you feel like being me being with your dad would have been any different? I feel like it would have been different in some aspects, but not with it. I don't know. I feel like sometimes I wish you and my dad were still together because I feel like like some of my friends do still have both their parents that live in their household and I feel like it's just a bit long sometimes. Like I have to call my dad and I have to go and see my dad. Whereas like some people have both of their parents at home. Like I still have a relationship with my dad. I'm still quite close to my dad. But I just feel like it would have been easier if he actually like lived with me. Would you feel like there's anything you missed out on not having your daddy there? I'm quite, um, I'm not selfish, but I like being the only child. So, <laughs> I know if my mum and dad stayed together, I wouldn't be the only child, but I'd hopefully be the only girl. I didn't, I don't feel like I missed out on anything, but. Mm. I like attention from both of my parents. When I don't get attention, I feel unappreciated. You get more than enough attention off of both of no, us. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, you don't. You don't appreciate me. What do you mean? I don't appreciate you. Don't you don't appreciate me. I helped your life. Oh lord! This is where you cue that song. <laughs> Feeling really unappreciated. <laughs> Honestly, like. Obviously, me and your dad aren't together. However, I feel like your dad is a great dad. Mm-hmm. I, I have no faults. Obviously, he annoys me, but he's not really my problem. He's your problem, you know? Um, But I feel like not being together, we still managed to co-parent you. Like, I would never call myself a single mother. I don't think I hold the right to call myself a single mother. I think a single mother is someone that literally has nobody it's just her and a child there's no father figure you know I and I wouldn't put myself in that category like your dad is your dad you know who's your dad you can phone your dad up and ask him for literally whatever you want and he will give it to you so I don't feel like us not being together has affected you in that way I know it's probably sad looking at your friends and seeing their parents still together but I, I feel that too when I see some of my friends and their parents are still together. Like, I think, oh, what would it have been like? Although, <laughs> I'm pretty glad that my parents aren't together. But um, do you think we could have done anything different with bringing you up? Would it be nice if somebody would actually know that's really rude? <laughs> you need to say it now. You can't just <laughs> cut off like that. You need to continue. Go ahead. It can be cut out. <laughs> I can't say it. Why? Because it's really mean. I was going to say it would have been great if nobody had any more children. (laughs) You're not cutting out. Yeah. (laughs) Everyone knows yourself. You know, I like I like being the only child at home. I think that's why I spend so much time at home. Mm -hmm. Because I just like like I'm the only grandchild. I'm the only child on this side. So I just not like I'm I'm not spoiled. No. Yeah, stutter. Okay. <laughs> I'm not rude, spoiler. Like, I'm not like, I want this and I want that and I want this and I want that. It's more the case of, nanny or mommy, can I please have this? And then you lot will say no and then I'll ask again and then you lot will tell me that I'm not getting it and that I'm not getting anything for Christmas and then I wake up on Christmas Day and I have everything that I asked for. Like last year, they told me that I wasn't going to get a new phone until my birthday. So they wasn't getting me AirPods because I'd probably lose them. Um, And then... They waited till like the middle of the day to give me the phone. I already knew it was the phone because of like the shape of the box and then the AirPods. Um, disclaimer: I have not lost the AirPods and the phone is still in great condition. I have not smashed it. Touch wood. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. You know what's funny is when you look into the microphone when you're talking, like there's a whole camera over there, and you're like, "Yeah, this came." <laughs> so do you feel like had I have stayed with your dad, mm-hmm. um, do you feel like you would have had half the things that you have? Yeah. You feel like you'd still be just a spoil. Yeah. There is no chance. There is. I was always going to, like, as much as my dad might disagree with this, I am your favorite child because I'm the only girl. Like, you have your boys, but, like, I I am the original. Like, like I'm, like, I'm my, I'm your mum's favorite, my nanny Cheryl. Yeah, like, everybody knows this. That's how no one can deny it. I, I feel like I would have got, I feel like you would have had boys after me. So, yeah. I feel like I still would have been very spoiled. Do you feel like there's anything that me and your dad could do better in the way we've been co-parenting you? To help if you like didn't look up. Yeah, I don't feel like we've been, I, I, my turn to start. I don't feel like over the past few years we've really bickered. I mean, we've had a couple of disagreements, but I don't feel like there's been like, any bickering. Do you feel like Mine and his relationship has affected you in a negative way. Sometimes when you don't have your disagreements, like, it doesn't make me upset. It just annoys me. Sometimes I just feel like you two are being childish. All right. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like there's some things I don't even need to, like there doesn't even need to be a disagreement. You know, are just being kids. And sometimes. I mean, if I'm honest with you, I feel like now at this age, I don't really need to have conversations with your dad. I don't really need to speak to him about certain things. Like you are grown and any problems that you have, you should address with him. Like, I feel like you take out a lot of the stuff, the issues that you have with him on me because you don't feel like you can be as open with him. Why why is that? I have a relationship with my dad. I'm close with my dad, but it's not. I have different relationships with different people, with different family members, with different friends. Like, it's different. It's not the same. But you will always call me out on my ball. But you don't call out anybody else. Just me. Because I'm closer to you. So I feel like I just have the right to tell you when you're in the wrong. And I feel like if I'm not as close to the person, then I don't really have, like, the right to say whereas with you if i don't agree with something you're doing i'll say it and if you tell me off you tell me off over else you'll get over it <laughs> do you are you scared of me no no not at all no. not in the slightest only sometimes when you scream like when you're in my face and sometimes it's really like scary you know? ah. <laughs> <laughs> but like i'm not like no i'm not scared of you. <laughs> you sure yes <laughs> are you scared when you shout which is quite often but like I'm not like scared like, no I'm not scared I'm not scared of you. <laughs> okay. how do you feel like you know obviously I can get upset as well I could be, I'm, I'm, I'm human you know I sure. should get upset <laughs> and um, I think I know and I can acknowledge the fact that I probably overreact to certain things and get more upset about certain things than I should. And she's admitting it. (laughs) All right. (laughs) However, do you feel like that affects you emotionally? No. No. Are you sure? Sometimes when I feel like you're screaming at me for no reason. Or like when you're shouting at me for no reason, which is sometimes, and then you, you realise, yeah, I feel like like I get upset. Like that, that's like one of the things I'll go and scream into a pillow about, yeah. And I'll just get over it after that, and I'll be like, I'm, I'll be like, I'm not gonna talk to my mom until she talks to me, and then I end up speaking to you anyway because I just can't help myself because <laughs> there's no one else to speak to. Right? I feel like most of the time though, like if I really, really overreact, if I really, really overreact for no reason, I feel like 
most of the time I'll apologize. There's, there's usually a reason, but sometimes the reaction isn't warranted. I don't remember the last time she apologized. Excuse me. <laughs> but maybe, maybe it wasn't warranted. Maybe I didn't need to <laughs> <Yeah>. apologize. <laughs> no, I don't always need to apologize, I think. All right, so what things do you think I need to apologize for? I can't think right now, it's too much. Well, think. <laughs> I remember this one time. Sometimes my mom doesn't think before she speaks. She doesn't like acknowledge the situation first. Like she just doesn't think. There was one time the door was left open, like the front door, and we walked in and she started shouting at me, asking me why I left the door open, how I forgot to shut the door, and blah blah blah, like screaming, 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 and sent me upstairs because she was so annoyed at me. And like an hour after her embarrassment and shouting, she called me down and said. Shania, I'm so sorry because she realised I hadn't been home during the day because I went to school that she was the last one in the house and left the door open. Yeah. Well, you normally do leave the door open. The back door, I'm just saying. I'm talking about the front door. Okay, but you do normally leave the door open. That is the, the back door. That's a completely different story. Still a door. She had the audacity to blame me when she was the last person in the house. <laughs> and then had to right her wrongs. 